Hello, my name is Andrea Zanella and I'm professor at the University of Padova and the local coordinator of the Windmill project. So what's Windmill? Windmill stands for Machine Learning for Wireless Communication. So it doesn't really deal with windmills, but with some engineering topics. And it's a European project that aims at building a network of experts all over Europe. Windmill uh, counts some top-notch universities in Europe, including the University of Padova, some research institutes and some big companies. And they join together in a network to educate, to train a group of young people into this new interdisciplinary and very challenging topic of applying machine learning for the optimization of the current and next generation wireless systems. So in order to better understand what we do here in Windmill, in Padua and in Europe in general, I invite my colleague Salman Mohebi to explain some of the research activities that we do in this project. Hello, my name is Salman Mohebi. I'm a PhD student here at the University of Padua. I'm here to talk a bit about the research projects we are following here along with the Windmill projects. You may have seen such a structure in your neighborhood. We call it base stations in the wireless terminology. How does the base station, these base stations help us to, uh, in the wireless uh, and cellular networks is the area basically divided to the sectors and the base stations in each sector is responsible to serve the users in the nearby. We call this as a each sector as a cell, so all the technology known as the cellular networks. But the problem is this cellular networks are not designed to support the modern applications like as wireless augmented and virtual realities, Internet of Things, self-driving cars, autonomous robots and smart industries. So we need to go forward and find some new solutions. Cell-free networks is one of these technologies that can help us to overcome the problems we are facing with in the current cellular networks. In cell-free cell networks, instead of deploying a, a small limited number of big base stations, we deploy a very massive number of uh, a small antenna elements that this antenna element can jointly together serve a diff base stations, serve the mobile users. In the new and modern wireless networks, instead of transmitting signal direct in all the directions, the antenna transmits the signal, focus the signal in a specific direction. We call these signals, directed signals, as a beams. The problem with these beams are they are very sensitive to blockage. They cannot penetrate the obstacles, so it causes lots of problems. To overcome this problem, we can probably use the drone networks that can kind of receive the transmit the signal from the transmitter and forward it to the uh, receiver. In this way, we can easily bypass the blockage. We can even go for war, go more, and make a network of these drones. In the other technology, we can use uh, some, some things, some elements known as the reflecting elements, where they receive, they receive signals from a certain direction and can manage the uh, outcome signal or outcome beams in specific uh, directions. In this way, we can also be successfully bypass the blockage.
we can also go forward and incorporate these two different technology and make something ev even smarter. In a specific problems, here we are working to in designing different possible uh, different paths, designing to finding a method that can help us to finding the optimal trajectory of drones in different scenarios. This uh, optimal path or optimal trajectory can be based on, I don't know, different data rates requested by the user equipments, battery level of the drones, degree of the movement of the user equipments and the drones, how far the drones can go, and too many other uh, factors. That's it. If you are interested about the windmill projects, you can easily see our website. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.